Hey guys, are you ready? Are you ready to get naked with me? Well, let's get started. Okay, so I thought that would be <laughs> a nice little intro to this video that I'm about to bring to you guys. I know, that was really, really sick of me to do that. So anyway, what I wanted to do for this particular video, I do have a shirt on. <laughs> See, um, but for this particular video, I wanted to bring to you guys my Urban Decay uh, Naked um, products that I owned. And I thought that was a really good way of doing this um, video. So I'm going to go ahead and get started with the foundation. I purchased this foundation when it first came out. And I purchased it... Um, I think I was I purchased 9.0 okay so maybe a few months after that I think 9.5 or 10.0 came out but anyway I actually took the 9.0 back and I picked up the 10.0 which is a great color for me um, especially for the summer months this color is really good if I feel like in the winter time, if this is too dark for me, I just mix it with the moisturizer and um, just pretty much break up the darkness of the product and use it that way. But I am in the shade for the summertime 10.0 and I guess 9.5 will be my winter color. Um, but anyway, I originally purchased it in the 9.0 because it was in the winter time and so that 9.0 was just too light for me in the um, these summer months. So anyway, um, I recently in the last month I picked up the Naked Skin Ultra Defont Ultra Hold up Ultra Definition Press Powder, and I actually have this on um, today. Yes, yeah. um, and this is in color Naked Dark. And this is for if you use the foundations 8.0 to 10.0, um, you would use the Naked Dark. Okay, I have a small sample of the Naked the Beauty Balm. And this is a universal beauty balm for um, Caucasian, Asian, African American skin um, tone. And I've used this only just a couple of times to be honest with you guys. Um, but it just really just blends in. It's a tinted moisturizer type beauty balm, but it just it really just fades to really no color. Um, and I just have the small. I never purchased the full size of this because I've not even used um, the sample size of it. I do have the Naked 1 through 3 palettes as well. This is my Naked 1 palette. I remember when I purchased this, oh my gosh, I was so excited to have owned this palette. Um, and this is more of the browns and golds. Um, I love this palette. This has to be my favorite palette of all of the Naked um, palettes that I do own um, is this one right here. My favorite color um, is Buck. That is a great transition um, color for the crease and also for contouring like my nose area. Absolutely love um, this palette right here. The Naked 2 palette um, and my uh, My little one behind me is like just shaking it off like crazy. I'm like, what is going on behind me? But anyway, uh, there is a brush that comes with this that's over there with my other brushes. Um, the Naked 2, to me, is just a remix of Naked 1. And I really like this palette as Mama, well. what's this little brush right here? What's this little brush it's right here? It's for your hair, baby. Go brush your hair. Um, this is a remix of the Naked One palette. I like this one as well. My favorite color in this particular palette has to be YDK. Um, absolutely love this palette. I love the packaging on the two and the three. I I like this. Um, I wish they have done wish they have done that for the Naked, the first one. Um, but absolutely love the packaging. Um, so in between Naked 2 and Naked 3, they came out with the Naked Basics. And this is such a great little palette to take with you while traveling. Um, this is such an amazing little palette. I mean, you can create so many looks with this. I have. Um, 
and I love taking this when I do um, go away because this is it's so simple it's compact um, and it has like all of the colors and it's, this is universal to everybody's skin tone um, like if you're more fair skinned or um, more of an uh, a lighter ethnic race I mean you can just mix and match this um, this is a really good palette to have if you haven't picked it up I say do so um, my favorite color in this one is actually the Naked 2. Love that color. And then I have the Naked 3 palette, which is different from the first three palettes that they came out with. This is more of the rosy tone, um, cool tones, and you can do so many looks with this palette. I have my favorite color in this particular palette is Black Heart. Um, I think that is just a really pretty color and I'm and I do lean more to um, dark side as well but I absolutely love um, these palettes I love the packaging and it also comes with the brush as well but I love the packaging on the two and the three I mean this is just really sleek um, and it goes perfectly with the colors that's inside of um, the packaging so these are the naked palettes um, and the naked products that I owned. I hope this video has been helpful. Um, it was requested, so I hope I have satisfied the heart of my subscriber who requested this video. And I will see you guys on the next one. Bye.